Hello everybody, and today we are going to talk about color temperature. Now, color temperature is one of the first things you're going to have to deal with in photography, and it's measured in Kelvin. And Kelvin is also the SI unit for measuring actual temperature. Now, it's color temperature, so it sort of makes sense to measure it in Kelvin, but why? Now, color temperature is actually being referenced to the color of the glow of a piece of tungsten metal when you heat it to a particular temperature. Now, if you have encountered a tungsten bulb before, you would know that the light it outputs is very yellowish and orange in color, and tungsten bulbs are usually rated at around 3200 Kelvin. Now, that color is the exact color you're gonna get if you burn a piece of tungsten metal at 3200 Kelvin. It's gonna glow in that exact same color. Now, the thing about tungsten metal is the hotter you burn it, the glow it gives off becomes more bluish. Now, daylight is 5500 Kelvin. It's a hotter temperature, but the color is more bluish. So it's actually kind of confusing because it's actually hotter, but you refer to the color as being cooler. Now, the color temperature setting on your camera, you might notice it works sort of inversely. If you dial in a very high color temperature, it warms up your image. And if you dial in a very low color temperature, your image becomes blue. Now, the purpose of that setting on your camera is to balance out the color temperature of your light source with the image so as to achieve a neutral color tone. That means that white objects appear white. So basically, as long as you dial in the same color temperature setting into your camera as your light source, you are going to get a neutral color tone in your image. So for example, the white balance setting on my camera is daylight 5500 Kelvin, and I am being lit with a tungsten light source rated at 3200 Kelvin. It's going to look very orange, so I dial down the color temperature setting on my camera down to 3200 Kelvin. It's going to cool off the image, which cancels out the orange from the light, and it produces a neutral looking image. So that is pretty much it about color temperature. Any questions, any comments, just leave them down in the comment section below. Let me know as well if you've learned anything from this video and also let me know what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. So that's pretty much it for today everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.